Okay, welcome back to Ray Solar. So today we're going to be talking about connecting an AGS, so an automatic generator start, which is this device here, to your network, but most importantly, connecting it to a Honda EU 7000 IS. So this is becoming a more popular generator in these off-grid auto start applications. So we're just going to go through a, a few steps on how to make this connection. What you're gonna make sure you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you remove the termination terminal. So over here, there's a terminal underneath. And so you'll just press underneath on this terminal and you'll be able to pop it out like this. So the generator uh, will not run unless you have this termination terminal in it, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take our harness. This is our auto start harness. Okay, and it's going to go in the place. Now, this is just so you know, this is not available through Honda, and you'll need to contact Ray Solar for this specific harness that we're going to use to connect the AGS. Now, when we put the harness in, we're going to want to make sure we hear that click just like that, pull back to make sure it's secure. Now, what we have is four wires on this application. The um, contacts which are the two orange okay so when we make contact with the two orange we're actually closing that circuit and so that will enable us to turn the key and get power to the unit if i disconnect the two terminals there's no power to the unit so this activates the key into the on position and then it's a momentary start so it's what that means is it's the same as activating this push button start. Okay. So when I, now when I connect the black and the white wire together, that's like simulating pushing the engine start. And we can hear the generator has started by creating a contact. Now when I release the black and red wire, because it's a momentary start, the generator continues to run. It'll stop once I disconnect the circuit and put it in the open position. So now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you make sure you disconnect the harness from the generator so that there's no chance of starting or creating a short in the event that you connect some of the wrong wires. So disconnect the harness that plugs into the generator. Okay, you see what I have circled here. So that's the receptacle plug-in for the AGS. And then the corresponding drawing here shows 14, 16, 17, and 18. And moving over, I have the highlighted colors for those corresponding numbers, 14, 16, 17, and 18. It's really important that those are the only colors that you use and that you follow the order for the wiring. For the EU 7000 is gen type eight and that we have the gen type eight so gen type eight and you would follow the wiring harness based on gen type eight now the other thing that you want to check is the con uh, generator configuration and you want to make sure that um, your generator run hold time is set to zero seconds uh, crank time 15 seconds crank delay three seconds and that and retry time is 30 seconds as well as uh, the gen tries so if the generator is cold or it fails to start the first time it'll try up to three times for it to, for it to start and then qualify the EC so now let's test the um, generator we'll press enter We'll go down to the AGS. We'll do a manual on, so up button, manual on. That'll trigger.
coming in. Once it starts to charge, you'll see the status change. And we're in AC pass through, and then right to bulk, and then to absorb because the batteries are full. Now to stop it, we're gonna to go to AGS, generator mode. We can go into uh, automatic, and that'll shut off the generator. You can see that the AC2 now is not connected. And after it's done its cool down, you see the gen status auto off. Is cooling down. So that's how you configure the uh, automatic generator start on a Honda EU 7000. Some of the other models will be very similar, except your generator configuration and wiring type uh, may need to change. So you'll want to review the details on the uh, starting and stopping logic. All right, thanks for checking in, and hopefully you found some valuable information from this video. You can always find more information by visiting raysolar.ca and contacting us at info at raysolar.ca, where one of our representatives will be happy to help you with your project.